You're supposed to say I'd love to spend the time with you. And you're like, no, oh, delicious. But this one tastes like real strong fish, strong shrimp. So we're excited for him. Uh, this is what he's going to be doing. <laughs> yes. Bye. Right, do you want to explain what's happened? So do you know what pocket money is? No. So it's five o'clock in the morning here and we're up for Otis's competition at the school, his English speaking competition. He's been entered to represent the school. I'm just making some tea, PG tips, of course, decaf mind. And as you can see, it's still pitch black dark with insects chirping. Listen to those beautiful sounds, guys. The beautiful sounds in the night time here. Um, so still 5 a.m. We have to, the school wants him there at 5:30, and we've got a couple of lights out on our cottage here, flickering there. So um, yeah, the school want him there at 5:30, and then we have to head there ourselves. It's in central Buriram. Gore's got his new helmet on. Well, it's not really a helmet; it's just like a bit of padding because he's finally walking around. There's a lot of dangers and obstacles and we want him to be safe obviously that's cool now you can walk around and we don't have to worry about you banging your head so much do we because you like to bang your head don't you especially when you're getting stuff something falls on the floor and you pick it up you bang your head on the table don't you Bread. yeah that's right and what have you got to say about that then Bread. yeah what else do you want to say So he's all ready and I'll show you what he's going to be doing here because it's a private competition. There's no like audience. We're not allowed to go in with him. Um, although we're there for him to support and take him for ice cream afterwards. And We don't care if you win or you don't win, do we, on the competition? Yeah. So we're going to go for ice cream anyway, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> so we're excited for him. Uh, this is what he's going to be doing. And yeah, we're excited out with this. Are you tired? A little bit. But you went to bed early last night, didn't you? Daddy went to bed before you. Really? Yeah. So, here are the buses that Tissa are going to be getting on. As I said, we're going to make our own way there. He's getting on these big buses, VIP buses. <laughs> So he's quite excited. <laughs> so how do you feel about this in the competition? Okay, good. Good experience for him. <laughs> but it's too early. <laughs> it's too early in the morning. It's typical Thai style schools it's all right everything's cracking on you know nobody's even woken up yet and now we're going to go to Buriram which is about going to be a couple hours drive into the center for us and uh, we'll meet him there for the competition so Damo and I have decided to stop for some dim sum while Tish is in the competition we'll have a date I guess So you've got many different choices. I said this is a date, babe. While while Otis is at the competition, how do you feel about that? I like it. Food. You're supposed to say I'd love to spend the time with you. But you're like, no, oh, delicious. I've ordered some prawn dim sum. Damo's gonna go mad now. I can tell. She's so happy about this. 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? Yeah, close at 1 p.m. 
Yeah, right, so Darren's, Darren's going a bit mad now. We're going to get a table and enjoy these dim sum. What's this? Lati. What is it Chinese style? Chinese. Thai, Thai, Thai drink, Thai banok drink, Oliam. One, right? Black tea. Sweet. A little bit. Bitter. Bitter. Black, yeah, black, black tea. Welcome my camp. This is uh, Takiyap. Is that correct? Takiyap. 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 So what we got here then? This is... Sarapau. Sarapau. This is gold. Indeed. Gold. Hey, mommy kia already. This is the real deal guys. Usually when you find dim sum, it's in like the 7-Eleven or it's in some street store. And it's just kind of compacted, cheap dim sum. So they're not using real prawns. And maybe it's a little bit dry because it's not freshly steamed. This, you have the fresh steaming process, the professional steamer over there, which makes it really fresh. So this one is shrimp with seaweed. Looks like it's got something else in too full of flavor and taste mm. not like usual when you buy dim sum in Thailand in, it's like old in and market. in the market yeah this and it's no flavor it just tastes like nothing I'm just chewing and this one tastes like real strong fish strong shrimp Meat. taste yeah. meaty but she wants more already <laughs> look how happy she is when she eats do you ever see her this happy on the vlog most happy the way to a Thai's heart food so each one of these is 25 baht so, so you get two dim sum 25 baht that's 12 baht 50 a piece and this is the special dim sum sauce so 25 baht for two pieces of dim sum can't argue really let's try this it's the dim sum sauce So we loved it so much, we ordered more. I'm having crab, we got some crab dim sum. This is her favorite, full of flavor. I almost don't want to put sauce on it because the flavor of the shrimp and the seafood is so nice that I don't want to ruin it with a, a sauce that overpowers it, you know what I mean? But nice place. If you're ever in town, central Buridam, what's this place called? Poon Suk. Check it out if you're in Buridam. Yeah, definitely recommended. And so here we are to pick up Otis and we found out that he got silver. So out of 18 contestants, he came second. We're really proud of him. And what's better is that if he came first and got gold, that means we'd have to go to more of these competitions because he would be entered into the next round of the national ones. And this takes up a lot of his school time too. So they spent a lot of time practicing for this. So we're very happy he got silver because now we don't have to go to another competition and he doesn't have to spend so much time practicing and doing all that kind of thing so we're very happy Tears what did you get? what did you get though? what did you get? nothing yet what did you get? silver you get the silver yeah it's, that's very good already yeah very good good job Tears I can't believe you got silver you got, that's number two you you got silver that means you got number two that's the best well done sis how did you do that 
How did you do it? I didn't know. Was it scary when you went in? No. How many people was watching you? That's five. Five people? Yeah. And did you forget anything or not? No. You said everything right? Yeah. And then what did they say afterwards? Eh? What did they say after when you finished? Good. Silver. Yeah, very good. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Tis, do you know that Daddy wanted you to get silver? Really? Yeah, I didn't want you to get gold. Why? Because if you get gold, you have to go to Bangkok and do all this stuff again. But if you get silver, you don't have to go. Right, do you want to explain what's happened? Okay, when we first pick him up, the teacher, Jerry, said that he got silver. Oh, so we're quite like happy. We're happy uh, that you don't need to go more competition in Bangkok. But now I just check the result again. He got gold. <laughs> he got gold, it's all this. <laughs> so he won gold. He won gold, oh my god. He won gold, Tess. Yeah. So Otis got the gold and we're quite proud of him that, that, uh, that he managed to get it uh, and he doesn't have to go to another competition so we think. Um, the main problem with that was just that it takes up a lot of time of his other studies uh, because they have him practicing like five days a week most of the day. We got cows coming past here. It's not that we don't we don't want Otis to be in a competition in Bangkok, but I tell you the truth is like the school they want to present their best students, the English speaking, so a lot of uh, time goes into that, and then he misses out on some of his studies, which uh, we prefer him to just be normal, like learning normally in in the class with the other students, learning his Thai reading and writing, learning his English reading and writing because he's an English program. But uh, all the same, we're quite happy that he got the, the gold. For me as a dad, like I'm the one that talks to him in English all the time. So literally, I just try and keep him talking, keep him learning English all the time. So I'm quite proud that that's paid off uh, at this age of five years old. So do you know what pocket money is? No. Pocket money is money that I'm going to give you on Friday after school if you've done your jobs. How much do you think it is? I don't know. Because you're nearly six now, so it's time to get pocket money, isn't it? Yeah. How much do you think it is? Have a guess. What hundred? More. Two hundred? Two hundred. So let's go and look at your first job. Your first job is feeding the chickens. These turkeys keep attacking Tiss, don't they? Uh, they keep trying to get you. Every time you turn around, they try and get you, don't they? Right, how many? You've got to count the baby turkeys first, Tiss. Four, five, six. Nine. That's right, nine. So that's that's everybody's accounted for. Now let's feed the big turkeys. Maybe they'll be friendly with you when you feed them. Don't worry, if they come near you, I'll pick them. very much. Yeah, that's two. 
Right. Pass them to me. Thank you. Put it in the pocket. Put those in my pocket for later. Hmm. Do you want to stay in here with the silkies? No. 